<laughs> okay guys, so we got off the train. We've been on the train for about two and 20 minutes or so, but it's a lot colder than I expected. And I'm the only person that I've spotted here. Hello, hello everyone, good morning, how are you guys doing? This is day one of the trip to Germany. So I did the last video and just to let you guys know what's going on, but yeah, going to Germany, still cannot believe it. You know, with trips normally, you know where that you're gonna be going somewhere for like weeks or months. This trip, I literally found out that I'm gonna be going in like two or three days and it was like, just pack it, throw, throw clothes in a suitcase and get ready to go, so very spontaneous but I'm just getting everything in the car got that got skating shoes this is what your skating shoes look like if you live in the muddy jungles I have um, like literally put a lot of miles on these shoes walking up rivers skateboard never go anywhere without the never go in any airport without the trusty skateboard haven't been using it very much because it's hard to find any places to skateboard, but check this out. We got an awesome combination of stickers right on the corner. Video rocks. I had a bunch of stickers and I managed to find a pretty cool combo, I think. Pop that in there. Then we got the backpack. See you guys. Let's get going. Okay, Malaya. Bye. I will see you. Malaya, please let me pet you. And I cannot forget about you. Hana, Hana. Boom. What's up, guys? So we just made it to the ferry. This is about a one, one and a half hour ferry, but it's the first ferry of the day. And that, it, it leaves at around 5 or 5.30, so that's why we had to wake up at 3 to drive all the way here. But it's still completely dark out, super cloudy. We have a very long day ahead of us, but it's going to be very fun. The way this place is set up is actually the ferry is over there and the cars drive on through here, as you would expect. But you actually have to go over here. You have to come over to this area and this is where you buy your tickets. So you buy your ticket here and then cars drive over there. But multiple people cannot be in the car for some reason, so we have to, I have to get out and walk. Here we go, onto the boat, onto the ferry we go. We're actually really early because the ferry's pretty empty. Look at the size of that chain. Oh. Something that's actually kind of funny is, it's not, it's not that funny, but there, this is the third ferry that they've made. This is the Tambor 3, but there's the Tambor 2, and I believe the 1, but I don't think they use the 1 anymore. It's super old, but the first ferries were much smaller, so what they, because they were so much smaller, the gates at the front, uh, the gates that fold down for the, for the, um, so that the cars can drive on and off, they were much lower. So if your car was parked all the way at the front of the ferry, when you'd get to your destination, it would be covered in salt water. You'd have like this film, this thick layer of salt, salt water because all the splashes from the ocean on the front of the ferry splash right over, right onto your car. So you'd be, you'd be on the boat and you'd look down and you'd see your car just get, getting showered with salt water. The ferry has just began moving and now it's time for a quick little time lapse. Okay, now that we're moving, you can finally see some movement everywhere, and there's actually quite a bit more of a pretty good wind coming in. It's quite cool because there's these islands out here that are really small islands, but then they have like little huts and little pe and people are hanging out on them with boats and stuff. So it's quite cool. All right, so we're about just a bit over halfway through the boat ride making a little progress and I was hoping that there was going to be a really awesome sunrise but because there's so much mist and so many clouds I guess there wasn't but hopefully there's going to be an awesome sunset be optimistic about that Whoa. okay 
Okay, we are at the airport. Ah. Oh, it feels so good to finally be here. We haven't even gotten on the first flight and we still have two flights today. And I'm, I feel, it feels like I've been awake for hours. So we just gotta check in, go through security, and then we get our first flight, which is gonna take us to Panama. And then from Panama, we get a flight, which takes us directly to Germany, I believe. We are here, we got the suitcase, we got the skateboard, and now we just gotta make our way over to the airport. Oh gosh. Ah, here we go. Okay, Costa Rica. Thank you for all the fun adventures. I will be back in one week. Okay, now we're in the airport. Pretty much all I have is camera, backpack, suitcase, and skateboard. Not too much stuff. Not gonna be checking any luggage because we wanna just be able to get through the different airports and different places quickly and seamlessly. So we're trying to take very minimal amount of stuff. But uh, enough stuff, the stuff that you need, the essentials. I just gotta check in. We're actually quite a few hours early, so we're probably gonna have a good amount of time to hang out. But I do have a video to put up. If you guys remember, the, well, the, the video that I put up before this one was supposed to go up yesterday, but my internet went out again, so I haven't had internet. I didn't have internet all last night, so I had to wait till I got to the airport before I could upload that video. That's okay. security it's nice when everything goes nice and smoothly first thing we need is definitely some water we can't go through security with water okay got our water all right so we're in the airport and we have a few hours until our flight but right now what I'm doing is charging batteries and uploading a video which I wanted to get up yesterday but because of internet problems had to wait till I was in the airport because the internet at my house just wasn't working there's was nothing I could do about it but Luckily in here there's loads of different USB outlets and normal outlets so I'm able to charge up all the different batteries all day I've been waiting for this moment. Alright, we've been hanging out waiting here for about 2-3 hours but the plane is now boarding, thankfully on time. So many times there's delays, but not today. Today it's on time. And now step foot on to the plane. We managed to find my seat, and now we just, just wait. So glad I brought a skateboard. Skateboards are pure awesomeness in airports. All right, we're looking for our gate, but it is absolutely crowded in here. There must be thousands of people walking in every direction here. It's like an airport combined with a mall, combined with a really, really just busy building. All right, so we just ate a little bit of food. I had a Citavon and half of a some type of sub sandwich. It wasn't an actual Subway, but it was some type of sub. But I hardly ever get a chance to have Cinnabon. And I know it's the healthiest, healthiest thing I can find around here. So when I do get a chance to have it, make sure to have it. It's like, if I have a Cinnabon like once or twice a year. First time on a plane with two rows. This is so strange. This plane is ginormous. Actually, so there's two rows, two walkway rows, but then there's one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's actually eight rows of seats. I will update you guys every one hour about how
how my mental game is going, how I'm feeling, and how the flight is going. So I'll see you guys every hour. Okay, it's been exactly one hour and here's the update. Had some apple juice and had the first meal with a few different types of foods, which was vegetarian, which was awesome. And my face, super dry, but I've been on my computer editing and doing stuff. So for some reason I can't get the outlet here to work. I um, have to try to figure that out, but I'll see you guys in an hour. So far, so good. Hi right, guys, well last since I uh, filmed that updated you guys was like, three hours ago, and the reason for that is I fell asleep, so I just was like super tired, and then I just passed out, so nothing really happened for the past two, three hours, I was just completely passed out. Another update. So I ended up falling asleep again for like maybe an hour or so. So I missed another hour, but it was really just really dark and it was totally dark outside. Everyone was sleeping, not much going on. But I woke up to this super crazy sunrise that was going on. The sunrise looks the coolest before the sun rises. It was just it was just like this super orange glow. I think it was really cool. Okay guys, we have made it. I believe we are in Germany now. First time stepping foot in Europe, in Germany as well as Europe. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so we just got off the 11 or 12 hour flight, something like that. And then I didn't have the camera out because the camera is nearly dead. I have like 5% of battery left, so I'm hoping he doesn't die in the middle of filming. But right now we're waiting for the train. We're gonna take a, take a train from the airport to I believe it's said Salbrutten, and then from there is where we're gonna meet up with the rest of the Nimic team. So guys, I'm going. The, the main reason I came here to Germany is because I'm gonna be doing doing Nimic's vlogs. So if you guys want to see those vlogs, I'll leave the link to the YouTube channel in the description. But I'll also be doing daily vlogs on my YouTube channel, so it'll be simultaneous, simultaneously doing daily vlogs for my channel as well as Nimic. But if you want to see those, they'll be ending up over on Nimic. All right, I'm not sure if this is our train or if it's a different one, but I'll film once we get on so I don't waste all the battery. <laughs> okay guys, so we got off the train. We've been on the train for about two and 20 minutes or so but it's a lot colder than I expected. And I'm the only person that I've spotted here with board shorts on. There's no one else here with board shorts. So weird. No one else here even has shorts on. And I see why, it's kind of cold out. It's freezing. <laughs> and because um, there's a different, a different outlet in Europe, I can't charge any of my batteries or devices until I get an adapter. So I'm stranded with these dead batteries waiting till I find somewhere to get an adapter. It's not bueno. Okay, it is very cold out. I have a sweater, which is definitely not enough. Got my board shorts, but just finished having a dinner with the whole Nimic team just here at one of the little local restaurants here in Germany. Really cool. Down some, like, there's like so many little restaurants and stuff. And it's, I must say, just observing like the construction, the structures, the way everything's built with like bricks and 
the designs and architecture to me is just so cool because, oh, a little wider angle there, because the construction compared from here to Costa Rica is just so, so different. But the, like I said earlier, one of the reasons, the main reason I'm here is I'm filming Nimix vlogs, them working on the project here in Germany. So I'm gonna be doing daily vlogs for both YouTube channels, but there's going to be unique clips on my videos as well as on Nimic videos. Some clips will cross over, but there's gonna be a lot of unique footage on both channels. So we're gonna be here for a week, and I think in a few days we're going to a different country here in Europe, so that should be pretty fun. Traveling a bit, just seeing what's around here, it's gonna be very fun. Today's positive quote is, somebody who is better than you is never gonna hate on you most of the time. So this quote means to me is the majority of the time someone who is better at something than you is most of the time not gonna hate on you if you're maybe doing the same thing. So for example, with maybe making YouTube videos, someone who maybe has, maybe you make YouTube videos and someone who doesn't even make videos, they might hate on you because they see you making videos and maybe they, they don't have the confidence to make their own videos, but they hate on you. So you're at least making videos, you're creating something. They're like, they're, they're not even making videos and then they're the ones hating on you. Most of the time, someone who maybe has a bigger audience or has been doing it longer, most of the time, they're not gonna be the ones that hate on you. There is the rare occasion where there's someone who, just like people who bully you even if they're better at you and then it, there's, there's a thing where maybe someone, maybe it's a sport and they can do it better than you so then they hate on you because you can't do it as good, but that's most of the time not. So it's, that's what that quote means to me. But today's been a very, very long day. This vlog actually was two days because it took two days to do this traveling trip. So remember to keep always doing awesome stuff. See you guys tomorrow, early in the morning. Bang. And check out, there's a bunch of different little bundles of locks on this bridge.